So this morning we are finally arriving in Paihia, which is the hub for water-based activities here in the Bay of Islands. And of course we're not wasting any time, we are getting straight on the water this morning. So we are making our way through the fog right now from Keri Keri where we've been spending the last three days to the township of Bahia which is the gateway to the Bay of Islands. We are going to be spending over two weeks in Bahia or actually just under two weeks in Bahia and explore every nook and crannies of the Bay of Islands. It starts with a cruise to uh, the Hole in the Rock. I have to say the drive from Keri Keri to Pahia at sunrise is absolutely stunning. The sun is slowly peeking through the horizon making everything look golden and beautiful. As soon as we arrive in Pahia we head straight to the Pahia Wharf which is where most of the tours in the Bay of Islands start. Even before starting our hole in the rock slash dolphin cruise with Fuller's Great Sights, we are seeing heaps of wildlife already just on the Pahia Wharf. We're seeing all sorts of birds like this cute little kingfisher and then we are hopping onto the cruise. The cruise that we're taking is with Fuller's Great Sights which is called the Hole in the Rock and Dolphin Cruise and that's because it's half a sightseeing tour where we get to explore the whole of the Bay of Islands but it also gives us the opportunity to do dolphin swimming if we have a dolphin encounter. During the beginning of the cruise all the people that want to do dolphin swimming while on this cruise are gathered around and given a bit of a briefing of what will happen if we actually encounter a pod of dolphins. They have all the wetsuits and the snorkel gear here so we're all set up and ready to go. All we need now is the dolphins. In the meantime we have a scenic cruise of the Bay of Islands to enjoy. The Bay of Island is a real treat to cruise through. It features over 144 different islands. There is a ton of islands if you're counting. There is a ton of different size, shape, as well as vegetation and wildlife that you can find around the Bay of Island. So cruising through it is always a little bit different. For example, today we're looking for some dolphins, but we may not just find any. We may see some other type of wildlife, such as amazing seabirds, even some other marine mammals are sometimes found in the Bay of Islands. As we are cruising through all the islands, we're having amazing reveals of islands hiding other islands. It's just absolutely stunning. We take so much time taking a million type of pictures. We are basically making our way all around the boats to always try to find some awesome viewpoints of this stunning place on Earth. For example, this island here is Motukieke Island and we get to see this owner which actually welcomed the mail boat because yes, we're delivering mail and also provisions sometimes to them with a guitar. They actually sang us as we were departing. That's so cool. There is so much to see during this cruise that we are actually been given a map with all the points of interest on it. It really helps us know what we're currently looking at. But best of all is Tyra's commentary. Tara is both our skipper and our tour guide. She uses the microphone around the boat to give us constant commentaries about every single island that we see. Tyra has been sailing around the Bay of Island for ages and she knows both the stories of the inhabitants of each different islands as well as the story of the island itself. I really enjoyed listening to her in-depth commentary the whole way. After we wild though we are keen for some wildlife and Tara knows this so she finds a seal rock. Seal rock is a very known part of the Bay of Island where basically there is a massive rock and heaps of seal on them and they are here for a show. The boat circles Seal Rock several times, giving us awesome views of this huge seal colony. There's about 30 seals here right now, and they've all moved up to the Bay of Islands for winter. Because yes, believe it or not, it is winter right now, and that's why they call the Bay of Islands the Winterless North, because it's always got awesome weather. The New Zealand fur seals are absolutely adorable and after spending quite a lot of time taking a look at them we then continue with the rest of our tour making our way to the highlight of the day which is going to be the hole in the rock. Meanwhile Robin and I go into the little cafe that's in the middle of the boat to pick ourselves up a nice hot drink to keep our hands warm and to be honest there's nothing better than having a nice cup of coffee to some awesome views. 
Yes, we finally arrive at the crown jewel of this tour. This is the hole in the rock. It's a stunning rock standing 148 meters tall above sea level. This makes it a breeze for the boat to actually sail right through. In real life, this hole in the rock is called Percy Island or Motu Kokaku in Maori. It's a really well-known island where heaps of seabirds are actually nesting. This hole in the rock is situated at the end of Cape Brett where we can see the Cape Brett Lighthouse. It's a super isolated lighthouse. I really don't know how people were living here back in the days because yes, it used to be operated by a man. We can see his old house there as well. But luckily now it's operated by a big computer because you know, who can live that isolated? There's no way they can check out Instagram or on Facebook on there. The hole in the rock marks the turning point of our cruise. We are now going to be making our way back toward Pahia. But it's going to take us a wee while. We're going to go through a ton of absolutely stunning islands. And we're going to get to see a few extra sites. Plus, we're also going to be able to unboard the boat and check out Urupuka Puka Island. As everybody is onboarding the Dolphin Seeker, we get about 30 minutes to enjoy the island. There is plenty of stuff to do on the Puka Puka. There is some awesome hike and some awesome viewpoints. We'll actually get back onto the island in a few days because there is so much to explore there. But because we only have about half an hour, we decide to find ourselves a nice little spot on the waterfront and have our lunch. And it's not because I have broken out, I can't be a clown. <laughs> Urupuka <laughs> Puka Island is such a stunning island with its beautiful clear waters, its long stretching white sand beaches and there's actually a few walks that you can do to explore the island as well but for us our walk is taking us back toward the Dolphin Seeker where in fact we actually see loads of fish in the water because the water is that transparent. However, it looks like it's the fish and the birds are the only wildlife we're going to be seeing today because yes, we haven't seen any dolphins. Nevertheless, the guys at Great Sites do offer non-expiry vouchers to come back literally any time for free and try our luck again at swimming with dolphins, whether that's in a week or 20 years time. Back on the boat, we enjoy a super relaxing cruise, making our way back towards Paihia. The Hole in the Rock cruise is definitely an awesome way to explore the Bay of Islands, seeing all the highlights, and we're super stoked that we made it our first activity here. But make sure you subscribe, guys, because we actually have so much more planned in the Bay of Islands, so you're not going to want to miss a thing. For us now, we are heading to our accommodation for our stay in the Bay of Islands, which is the Base Pack Packers, otherwise known as the PP Patch. <laughs> Did you get that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>